Hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy and I'm really happy that you're here. I am bringing you my palette collection and declutter series because it's going to be about five videos. I've already tried to film with this once. Uh, it didn't go as well as what I had hoped. We're going to do things a little differently today, but I still really wanted to do it tabletop. So we're going to start with mini palettes. Today's video is all of my mini palettes. It could, it could be anything from like a bite sized palette to something like this. Anything that fits nicely in these type of containers. I do get these containers from the Dollar Tree. I bought a box of them. I don't know if you know this, but you can go to their website, order in bulk, and it ships to store, free shipping. So I bought a bunch of these. I think it was like $36, $36 I think. And there were, hmm, I don't know, a lot of them. Well, they're $1.25 a piece, so do the math. Um, the only thing that I am asking you is to please not send me messages. I'm asking for the palettes that I do declutter. Anything that has not been used is going to be going in giveaways, so you have an opportunity to win it that way. Or um, if it has been used or swatched, then I already have people in mind for them. So if you could just respect me and not ask me for my palettes, I would really appreciate it. That is a lot of uh, messages to go through, and I honestly, I don't have time for that. So I just would really appreciate if you would not ask. So let's just go ahead and get started, won't you? We're going to start with the e.l.f. Bite Size Palettes. I am going to put my glasses on because you guys can't even see me. And I'm going to have to read some. So the first palettes I'm going to say, like I said, are my Bite Size Palettes. And this is the e.l.f. And this is in Rosewater. And I do like this palette a lot. It's very pretty. Uh, it has a very pretty, cool, neutral color story. And, I mean, I don't use it a lot, but I have used it a few times. And I like it. It's okay. But I am going to keep it. The next one is the e.l.f. Uh, Mint Melt. It was in the Mint, Mint Melt line. And this is called Chocolate Mint. As you can see, it is still sealed. Uh, I bought this when they had it on sale. They had a big sale. And um, I'm going to declutter this because I really honestly can't see myself using it. And if I do reach for greens, then I'll probably reach for something else. Same with this one here. This is called Mint to Be. And yeah, I'm going to declutter this one as well. It's pretty. If you wear greens, it's a beautiful color story. And the last one of my bite-sized palettes is this uh, Love You a Latte. And it is still sealed. I have not used it. I am going to keep this one, though, because I really like the color story. And I believe, yeah, I believe they're all mattes. So, I don't know. I probably wouldn't do a complete look with this, but I would definitely use it as a companion palette. The next one is this LA Colors Heat. It's pretty. Um, I don't use it. Uh, I, use, I bought this for a giveaway. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not a giveaway. A video. Um where we used, I think it was a collab where we used drugstore brands or whatever. Um, but I am going to declutter that. The next one is this Wet and Wild, Wet and Wild Color Icon. And in, this one is the Camel Flaunt. And it is so pretty. I love this color story. I've only used it a couple of times. Um, but I am going to keep it because I do love it. It's in coming up for fall. Maybe. Maybe. The next one is another Wet n Wild color icon, and this one is the Heart and Soul, S-O-L. It's very pretty. It's a very neutral color story. It had a really nice formula. Um, I used it for a collab video, and I really like it, but I am going to declutter this because I do not reach for it, and I'll find a new new home. Next up are two from ColourPop. This is the Lyric. And I bought this one and the next one together. It is very pretty. I do have a video of me using this, I believe. It's been a while. But it is a very nice color story. It's ColourPop, and the ColourPop shimmers are really nice. So I'm going to keep it. And the next one is the Cashmere Forever. It's a beautiful purple palette. You can do a complete look with this. I did. I do have a video of me using this. Both of these have a little shift to them. And they're beautiful. Keeping 
The next one is from Charlotte Tilbury, and it is the Pillow Talk little quad. Dang it. It is beautiful. I love this color story. It is a very light, romantic color story. And I got this from Ash from Makeup and Chaos. They received this in a Vox box. I believe it was an influencer Vox box. And um, this is not really their cup of tea. It's not their jam. Uh, they did say that the uh, formula was really nice, but um, asked me if I wanted it. And I, of course, said yes. Next up is Bella Pierre, Brown Eyed Girl. I got this in friend mail from Laura the Bargain Hunter. I love this palette. I used it a couple of times last fall, and I can't wait to use it again this fall. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful little palette. The next two are Huda, and this is the Huda Gemstone Obsessions palette. I got this in a giveaway from uh, Jean Louise, and I have not used it yet, but it is a beautiful palette, and it's Huda, so I am keeping it. The next one is Purple Haze. I think I might have got this in the drop shop. Um, Huda. It is also Huda. Beautiful color story. I love it. Um, I have not used it yet, but um, it's very pretty. I'm going to use it. I'm going to keep it. The next one is from Sandbar. Dang it, I thought I took them all out of their little homes. Sandbar Mirage Palette. Um, I did get this in an Ipsy box. It's pretty. Um, I don't know how pigment it is. I haven't used it. I am going to declutter this and put it in a giveaway. Next up is by Ruby May and it is Peppermint Mocha. I got this in a an ice cream beauty box. I don't know if you guys care that I don't know if you guys care where I got them from. Um, but I've never used it and I am going to declutter this and it will probably go in a Christmas giveaway. But it's pretty. Um, I just, I've never reached for it, so it's getting decluttered and going to a new home. I'll probably give it, put it in the giveaway. Um, this is the Ethereal Bloom from Artist Couture. Again, I thought I took them all out of their boxes. Um, it's pretty. I did get this in a Busy Beauty box a while back. This has only been swatched. I don't believe it's ever been used. I'm trying to know if it's, I don't even know if it's been swatched. Um, it is very pretty palette, but it's not something that I will ever reach for. Um, if I want to do a purple look, I'm going to use a palette that has more purple. If I want to do a pink look, you know, I just, I'm not going to be mixing these shades. And um, I just think someone else would appreciate it more than I. Okay, we're going to container number two. I have, I have two Laura Geller palettes. They're just mini palettes. And I got these, this is called the Warms, and I got these before I even started my channel, and I can't remember, I think someone gave them to me, but I can't remember, um, but, I mean, it's a very pretty neutral palette, it's never been used, it's never been swatched, but I am going to um, declutter this, because I don't reach for it, ever. And this is the same, but it is called the Cools. And this is what she looks like. Again, very pretty. Very pretty palette. Um, I did use this right here. I used that lightest shade right here, I think, for setting um, setting eyeshadow primer, I think. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to declutter that. I'm going to say goodbye. The next two are from Essence. I just recently purchased this. These for my um, Essence, my full face of Essence. And this is called, I like to mauve it, mauve it which it's a little bit more purple than mauve, but it was nice. I, I liked it. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to reach for it, but I am going to keep it because I did recently buy it. So, and then this one is called um, Nothing Compares to Nude. And I bought this for the same reason. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use, but um, I'm probably going to pass this along to my daughter. Let's tape on it. Pass this along to my daughter. Um, I don't know if she's going to want it, but it's very pretty. The next one is from Zoeva. It is the Spice of Life palette. I did get this from Ash. And um, I think it was Christmas. Such a pretty color story. I have not used it yet, but 
It's a beautiful fall palette, and I look forward to using it. The next two are Makeup Geek. They were singles that I put into um, these Z, pa Z palettes. I won these from um, Mary Catherine Loves Cats. I won the singles and the Z palettes, and I put them in the color stories that I thought were nice. This, to me, kind of looks like a, like a sunset, and I love it, and I'm going to keep it. I've not used it yet, but it's still pretty. And then this one is more of a purple color story, and um, that black has been used. Um, I believe this white has been used maybe once, but yeah, I'm keeping those. Next up is the Ciate London palette. Um, it came broken, and I think I got it from like Ipsy or something like that. Ciate is not one of my favorite brands. I don't really care for their formula, and I am going to declutter this. It has not been used. It's just broken, but I'm not going to. If I want those shades, I'm going to reach for something else that has a better formula. The next two are from the ABH Norvina collection, and this one is number two in the collection. Um, I got all three of them in a Busy Beauty box. I did uh, gift the one to a friend um, because they were missing that one, and they like this uh, line more than I do. Um, so I thought that that would be something that they would like, and they did. But um, I did use this with Ash uh, in a collab with Ash for St. Patrick's Day. And I am going to keep it because it does have a beautiful formula. I'm not sure how much I'm going to use that one. So it might get decluttered the next time I go through here. But for now, I'm going to keep it. And this one is the number three. And I think the packaging is adorable. And the color, and the color story is very nice. Um, I have not used it yet, as you can see. But it's pretty. And I really like these reds and I really like these pinks. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm probably going to keep it. I'm going to keep it for now. Um, we'll see if I use it. The next one is the Batman palette. This is from Revolution. This was the first Batman release that they did. And I freaking love it. You can see I've used it many, many times. It's very pretty. It's a great color story. Very fall. Very warm. And the formula is great. And of course I'm keeping it because it's Batman. And then we have the Revolutions, Revolution Cosmetics, um, The Simpsons. It was the Treehouse of Horror, and this is Bart the Raven. And I really wanted this because the Raven is my favorite. Uh, the Raven by Edgar Allan Poe is my favorite, favorite poem. And um, so I really wanted this. I could really care less about The Simpsons, but I love the color story. It is a great, dark, smoky color story, and I have used this a couple of times. And the formula was amazing. I really loved it. Um, I bought this. I needed like seven more dollars for free shipping, and they had it on sale for seven dollars, so I bought it. This is the Mac Aoi Couture starring Rosalia palette. I did use this in a palette collection bingo. I do not like this palette. I thought that um, it was not pigmented enough. They're very light shades anyway, but it was not pigmented. And the shimmers weren't that great. So I am going to declutter that. And then the last one in this bucket, in this uh, little container, is the ColourPop Set in Stone palette. I did just recently get this in uh, my ColourPop Mystery Box. It is a beautiful color story. It is very fall. It is very warm. The shimmers swatched beautifully, and um, I'm really excited to use it. The next ones are all of these kind of long, skinny. This one actually should have gone in there, but it wouldn't fit. So maybe it'll fit now after I declutter a couple of these. I don't know. I don't know if I'm decluttering. Okay, first out of this container is Natasha Denona Ayana palette. Most A lot of people got these in BoxyCharm. I actually bought mine from Mercari for $11 because I thought it was beautiful, and it is beautiful, and it's a beautiful color story, and I love it. And I'm pretty sure I have a video of me using that and keeping that. And the next one is the Natasha Cupid palette. The formula is beautiful. The color story is beautiful. I love this palette. Um, I've only used it like once or twice, um, but it is beautiful, and I am definitely keeping it. 
Next up is from Space Case Cosmetics. I did get this in friend mail from Lori Latimer. These are some beautiful shimmers. I like to use them. This is definitely a companion palette. And I like to use them um, with, you know, very neutral earth tone, taupey type things. But they these three do a beautiful inner corner. And um, yeah, I'm keeping that. The next one is the Hummingbird palette from Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. This was in my this was in my So Susan box. It is beautiful. I love it. Um, I haven't used it, but a couple of times I used that shade on my lid and that shade on my lid um, when I was going somewhere. Uh, but it is pretty. It is really pretty, and it reminds me of the beach, and I am keeping it. The next one is from Dominique Cosmetics. This was also friend mail from Lori Latimer. This was also friend mail from Lori Latimer. I just think this is such a nice, romantic, pretty palette. Um, I call it the sweater palette. Is Did I say it was Dom Dominique? I think I did. Um, such a pretty, pretty palette. So keeping that. The next one is the Elf Rose Gold Nude Palette. This was my second palette I ever bought. And I got this from like, I don't know. Walmart or Meyer or something. Um, as you can see, she's very well loved. I did use the heck out of this palette and, um, and I love it and I'm keeping it for nostalgia reasons. I haven't used it in forever and I probably won't. Um, same with this one. This is the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 2. This was like a $20 palette when I bought it. It was like $19.99. I'm going to try to not blind you guys. Um, but again, neutral color story. It's been used so much. But uh, this was like my best friend for a while. And as, if you can see, if you can see um, where my favorite color story is, I mean, they're not really similar or anything, are they? No, not at all. So again, I'm keeping that for nostalgia. The next one I have is the Lamona Exposed Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. I did get this in friend mail. Uh, Christmas mail or birthday mail? I think it was Christmas mail. And I'm pretty sure I got it from Leanna Dalton, but I might have gotten it from Ash. And I can't remember which one gave it to me. But it's beautiful. Um, I have not used it, but it is such a beautiful palette. And I'm get, definitely keeping it because those are my jam. Those are my jam shades. Another reason I really like doing this is it's re-familiarizing myself with some of the palettes that I have um, because, you know, you, when you when you amass a large amount of palettes, um, you kind of forget about some of them. So the next four palettes I'm going to talk about are the um, Makeup Institute Los Angeles. I had to think about that for a second. And this is the Boss Babe palette. It is gorgeous. Look at those reds. I mean, for, for fall, that's like amazing, amazing palette. So yes, I'm keeping this. I did get this. I got all four of these in my busy beauty box. So yeah, I'm going to keep it. The next one of those is the Royal Queen palette. Also from Makeup Institute of Los Angeles. Purples. Freaking stunning purples. It is gorgeous. I love it. Um, yes, I'm keeping this. No, I haven't used it yet. The next one is this Pillow Princess. It is also from Makeup Institute of Los Angeles. That's what the artwork looks like. I'm trying to cover up these mirrors so I'm not blinding you guys. Another beautiful palette. Um, it is beautiful pinks. I'm actually going to declutter this one and I don't, I can't believe I'm saying that, but I have other palettes with a lot of pinks in them, um, that are just as beautiful that I would probably reach for first. So I'm going to declutter that. And then the last one of those four is called Boss Bitch and it is a, obviously a blue palette and it is 
freaking stunning. I have swatched it. I have not used it yet, but it is gorgeous. And oh my gosh, I think for the holidays, it's going to be fun. I really like blue and silver in, at, at the holidays time. So maybe I'll do a look. Maybe I'll do a Christmas look with blue and silver. I don't know. But this, this one right here, look at that. That's freaking stunning. I said I wasn't going to swatch any of these uh, in my head. I told myself I wasn't going to swatch any. But sometimes I just have to touch them. I have to touch them. Only one got decluttered out of that. Okay, you guys, this is the last tub. Uh, the first two are from ColourPop. This is the Acai. Acai, you baby. This was in... Um, I believe it was in my last mystery, but not my last mystery box, but the mystery box before. It's so pretty. Um, I was going to actually put this in giveaways, but I think I'm going to keep it. It's so pretty. It's so freaking pretty. Same with this one. This was in my very last, um, color pop mystery box. And you know, these shades really aren't me. Like I'm not a very warm orange person, but these are like a pinky orange and they're freaking beautiful. And I'm keeping them. The next two, the next two are from BH Cosmetics. This is the, from the Birthstone collection. It is the Emerald. It is a beautiful, beautiful color story. Um, this is sealed. It's never been opened. It looks like it's been touched, but it's never been opened. So I don't know. Um, I know I didn't touch it. Uh, and I didn't notice that when I bought it. So I don't know. It could have been like me picking it up or something like that. Um, it's a pretty color story. I am going to declutter this. Um, yeah, I'm going to declutter it. It's pretty. It's not something I will probably ever, ever use. Um, I paid $5.99 at Marshall's for that. I don't know why I can't speak today, guys. Uh, same with this diamond palette, $5.99 at Marshall's. I got it because it was the April palette. And April is my birth month. But really... I don't like this color story. I don't like anything about the color story. Um, I think that maybe two other grays would have been great, like a dark gray and then a lighter gray. And then you have these silver shimmers. I don't know because it's a diamond or there are different kinds of diamonds. You could have had a yellow. You could have had a blue. Um, they're a pink for pink, like pink diamonds. This is more like a light terracotta. So I don't know. Um, I was not enamored with the color story, but it was really cheap. So I'm going to declutter that. I was thinking about keeping it just because it's my birth month. So this is the love spell, or this is the spell book, the love. And it is so stunning. You can see those blues, teals, whatever you want to call them. They're great. They are so beautiful. So I am keeping that because it is stunning. I do like Rude Cosmetics a lot. Um, I did not know much about them until I received a couple of palettes in my busy beauty boxes. And I really like their, I love their formula. Um, this is the Spellbook passion palette. And it is purples and it is beautiful, but I'm going to declutter this. I've never used it. I think I did swatch. I have swatched this palette. Um, and I swatched this shade here because it's a stunning shade. Um, but I have so many purples that I love and I'm just not going to, I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to, I'm going to give it a new home. Someone that I know that's going to appreciate it. The next one is from Formula Z. It is the Com Cosmic Glitz Palette. I think I got this from Ipsy. I think Ipsy. I've never used it. Um, the color story doesn't make much sense to me. Like these four here would be fine. Then you have a purple and this crazy silver. I think they just want to put some glitters in there. I don't know. Um, I won't reach for this and I don't even know anything about their color story. So I am going to declutter that. So the next four are going to be Violet Voss. All four of these, I believe I bought in the BoxyCharm drop shop. This is the Wild Dahlia palette. And it is so pretty. And you know what? When I sat down here, I was going to declutter this. Man, that's pretty. I'm not going to declutter it yet. Not yet. Not yet. I'm going to keep it for a little bit longer. It's, it's, it's so pretty. 
Uh, next up is this Windflower palette. This palette I got from, I believe it was Ipsy, and I immediately put it in a giveaway and gave it away. Um, now, I found it in the drop shop, so I picked it up because it's so pretty. So yes, I'm keeping that. The next is the Forget Me Not. I have used this palette. It is a beautiful formula. Uh, when I first saw it, I'm like, that does nothing for me. And then I watched Ash use it in, uh, Ash from Makeup and Chaos use it in a video. And I'm like, oh, wow. So I saw it in the drop shop for a very good price. So I picked it up. So I'm keeping it. And then the last Violet, mini Violet Voss palette that I have is the Oh Snap. It is a Christmas palette. I'm trying not to blind you guys. And this is what that looks like. Look at those reds. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, and this was another one that I said that I was going to declutter in my head. I was like, I'm going to declutter that. And I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it. It's just really pretty. And Violet Voss formula is so amazing. The next one is Ciate London. And it's, this is the velvet. Yeah, this is the velvet palette. It does have very nice packaging to it. I am not a Ciate London lover. It is beautiful. And I don't even think I have swatched this. Like, I don't think I have it all. It doesn't even look like it, but I'm pretty sure I have it. Um, but I am going to declutter that. Next up is the Persona Identity 2. I got this in, in birthday mail. No, not birthday mail. Maybe birthday mail, Christmas mail from Leanna Dalton. Um, it is broken, so I'm going to be very careful. I have used it several times. Um, I need something to cover up. Um, it's broken. Those are very soft shades. I'm keeping this. I really like the formula of it. And yeah, I'm keeping it. And then the last palette that we're going to talk about is the Morphe 9V palette. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Hopefully that's good enough to not blind you. Um, beautiful pinks, mauvey color story. I got this in friend mail from Lori Latimer. And we did a collab with this. This is fantastic. Um, these shimmers are beautiful. I use this quite a bit. Um, this is one of my work palettes um, because it is such a very soft look. Um, I, don't try, I try not to get too crazy when I go to work. So those are all my mini palettes, you guys. Oh, I do have stuff on my hands, don't I? Oh, well, um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Stay tuned for part two. There are going to be probably five videos in this series, and they're not going to be all released at once. I'm probably going to kind of stretch them out a little bit so that you don't get bored with my palette collection and declutter. <laughs> so thanks, you guys. I really appreciate you being here. I think I already said that, but I really do. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day, and we'll see you later.